All right, I'm back with the next episode. Uh, uh, I figured out, a friend told me how to adjust the volume of the birds chirping and all the other background noise. It's the, you hit F7, and then you gotta physically look up or down to while you're holding F7. So I turned it down to like 20%. I think that should be good enough. And I'm also going to m upgrade my divining rod because I read that I can do that. There it is. Because my current divining rod can look up to 16 blocks deep. If I upgrade it, I can go 64 blocks deep. There we go. That's an upgraded divining rod. And put that back in there. And I'm going to sleep, and then when it's daytime, I'm going to start making my house bigger. I'll do that off camera and come back if anything interesting happens. Wow, okay, I was going to make my house bigger, but there's apparently a massive fire ogre sitting right there. I don't know how far they can see people from. And I don't know if his fireballs will, like, blow up my house or whatever. Ah, oh, man. I'm not sure how to knock down these trees, these giant rubber trees, too, because I knocked down the bottom layer of this one, and it didn't knock down the whole thing like I thought it would from the forestry add-on. So, I gotta figure out, probably do it the hard way. So, that's disappointing, but whatever. Oh, there he is. Alright, I'm gonna fill this hole back in and then probably go mining some more. I don't know how I'm gonna think about it. I just noticed something cool about uh, Tech It. Like if you only have a few blocks left here and you got more left in your inventory, it'll automatically fill in the next block. Did you see that? So let's say you got tons and tons of cobblestone sitting in your inventory like this. And you you use all of it. It automatically repopulates. I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, you can see the outline of a giant size house that I'm going to build now. So let's see if I can finish this before it gets dark or before I run out of stone. Whoa, tiger, tiger. Okay, tiger, bad kitty, bad kitty. No kitty, bad kitty. He didn't drop anything. That was useless. Okay. So tigers are aggressive, but I just beat him down. There's another one over there. Eh, whatever. Alright, I'm gonna make some batteries here. I just wanted you to see the recipe that I'm using to get it. I'm gonna make two of them, so that's one, two. I think you can stack them. You can stack them when they're fully charged or fully uncharged, I think. Well, uncharged, obviously, you can. But I'm not sure about fully charged. And I know that when they're partially charged, you cannot stack them, is what I've read. So I'm going to need those to make a generator and to power my extractor, which is right there. And I'm thinking about placing it now that I've got enough room to do everything that I want to do. And I've been told I don't need to pick up my iron furnace to do that, so I can go like pick a new spot out here. You can see where I'm building the new house out here. I want to finish it with stone so it's more blast resistant. i got a random cat running around here so I'll just figure I'll leave him there I don't know what the proper or best placement is for machines but I figure I can get some bronze and pick them up and move them around later when I want to anyway I just want to get them rolling right now just to see if they work so let me grab these machines uh, to the other chest I picked it up already okay I need that and something else. So let me go look at the designs that I need. And uh, I will go figure that out in one moment. Okay, I find I made another machine block, used one of my batteries, made picked up my furnace, and I'm gonna make a generator. So yay, I got a a generator now. I'm gonna go out here and put them down somewhere. I've been told that my generator needs to not be next to anything else, so I'll just throw it like, uh, I don't know, right in the middle here. Doesn't look very special. Okay, I'll put this thing right next to it. Why not? 
Now this extractor, I'm supposed to put the sticky resin on top. And I can, well, hang on, let me use the generator first. I can put a battery on top and I can put some coal on the bottom. And it starts to fill up the battery. Okay, whatever. And then I can put this over here. And does coal work for this too? No. Alright, I read that I have to get uh, redstone to make that work. Oh, look at that. Cool. It turns one resin into three rubber. I wonder what this does. Can I put that there? Yeah, whatever. All right. And this is converting my battery up. That's cool. So it's full, I guess. Okay. That's cool. Give me more rubber. That's pretty cool. All right, that's gonna let me make more cables, which is gonna let me make more of other stuff. I should probably just knock down this wall, get it in and out faster. But my base is still not secured yet, so. All right, let me check and see what else I gotta make. Okay, I just checked and to make the next piece, I need iron. I actually have a lot of iron, but ironically, I need three flint and two cobblestone, which I have neither. I used all of my cobblestone to make the beginnings of my base and I used all of my flint to make arrows so that should be pretty easy to find the next part but I'm just gonna do another digging run because I kind of enjoy that anyway so let's go see what we find okay I'm now I'm gonna make my macerator two cobblestone three flint machine block and electronic circuit yay yay us I'm gonna go put this out right next to my generator uh, which one of these is my generator again? I think this one. So. Oh, did I just... I just powered it. Okay, I should probably turn that off. Interesting. Alright, the rain is really loud and really annoying me. I'm going to see if I can turn this down again. Let's see what I gotta go do next. Alright, let's try this out. I tried covering some more and it's still raining out. Sorry about the noise. It looks like this is powered because of the red there. And that's why this red thing is. Let's stick this here and see what happens. Okay, it's working. And the power is going down, I see. So as soon as the power runs out from the the, the macerator is being powered because it's adjacent. It's right next to the generator. If it wasn't, I would have to run a cable from it. And that's loud. I'm gonna have to check the YouTube clip later to see how loud that is. It sounds awfully loud to me. It's making gold dust, which is good. And we'll need to keep powering this. I don't know what we can power this with. I guess coal? Does that work? Yeah, looks like it. What's going on? That's still... Still working. Okay, so supposedly using this Technic mod, I can take this dust and use it to go make glowstone dust. So 
so I don't even have to go to the nether. Let's see if this works. I think it's like this. No. Okay, give me one sec to find the recipe. Okay, it appears that one of the recipes that I've read in my guide does not work anymore. Because this is gold dust and redstone dust. And this is supposed to make glowstone dust. But it's not working. I went and did some searching and it seems that some recipes may have been removed from equivalent exchange. And that seems to be one of them. So I may have to go to the nether after all. But uh, it's late. So I'm going to call it a day. We got our little setup running over there. What I'm going to do next time is I'm going to get some equipment and get prepared. Make a run to the nether. Grab some glowstone dust. And come back. So that's coming up next time. Thanks guys. Bye.